All right. I am back. Sorry about the wait. Had to eat and, you know, drink and bathroom and things living people do. Was it seriously not three? Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I had to open up hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Valkyrie profile in Star Ocean. Also, you know what? I'm going to defend myself because I didn't take a break after the first hour. I went two hours without a break. <laughs> clothes? We found clothes. Lars, do you need clothes? Oh, I, I see you dressed yourself. So uh, we're good on clothes. We can sell that, though. Gathering hadn't played Chrono Trigger until you two years ago. Now, now, guys, come on. He's he's corrected that since he did play Chrono Trigger now. Relax. Put down the pitchforks. Yes, Tesla. Legend of Dragoon is now a classic. It was two generations ago. <laughs> Although that is weird to be thinking about. Because <clears throat> I remember when the Super Nintendo came out. I remember uh, a friend showing it to me in a magazine, and I just, like, I didn't believe it. I'm like, there's no way graphics are going to be that good. I bet somebody just painted these pictures. <laughs> that makes me feel so old. <laughs> Wow, Bahamut Lagoon. I haven't heard that name in a long time.
We are getting really small, weak enemy parties right now, and it is not helping me to level. Oh, Tesla. Tesla, put down the, uh, take off the ruby glasses. Or rose-colored glasses. There are still plenty of challenging games being made. The problem is that most of them get overlooked. Some of them get noticed, like Demon Souls and Dark Souls. <clears throat> when is my brain turning into mush? I don't know. Like, I'm still feeling really good right now. Or Catherine. Catherine is freaking hard. Mega Man 9 and 10. Those are newer. I mean, yeah, they're made like the NES games, but they're still new. <laughs> um, Shin Megami Tensai Nocturne. Dark Souls is easy once you know Dark Souls. Like, once you've gotten used to it and you've memorized it and you know how the game expects you to react, you're fine. The thing is that you have to learn it. I mean, you know, Dark Souls can be very easy in the same way that Contra is easy. Because if you play it enough, you get better at it. Now, Mega Man 10 was kind of easy compared to games like Mega Man 3. It's still pretty challenging on today's scale. Lars is now level 7. Getting close. Getting close. Then we can push forward in our epic quest. A healer appeared. There's two of us attacking you now. You're in trouble, yo. Getting hit twice. You getting hit twice? There. I killed one of these jerks. Quick Man was in Mega Man 2, not 3. I'm going to go get the key once I'm level 9. Because that's what the guide off of the Dragon's Den <laughs> recommends. <laughs> and I didn't follow a guide for uh, my Dragon Warrior 1 marathon, and the game took me twice as long as it needed to. <laughs> You're right, you're right. I totally forgot about that. It did have the Robot Masters from 2. My bad. I'm sorry. Shows what I know. <laughs> It's Mega Man 8 that's on PlayStation 1. Mega Man 7 was on the Super Famicom. Yep. 
Yellow Devil was rough. Holy shit. I saw he's going to be in Smash Brothers. Is that right? Yellow Devil's in Smash Brothers? Maybe not as like an actual player, but as a uh, boss character or something. I could have sworn I saw screen caps or something. Try to not die, Lars. We took one step. Okay, he's a stage boss. Sweet. Everybody's waiting for Lars to die. It was close. That was close. We almost hit death number two. Don't worry. We're going to have plenty of time for Lars to die once we're in Rhone. As well as everybody else. Uh, I'm going to go buy some gear first, Tesla. Yeah, I have honestly been dreading this for a year. Just Roan specifically. Like, Roan is the reason I don't like Dragon Warrior 2. The rest of the game is fine. Night, Godeki. I was not looking the right way. Chainsicle for Saigon. God damn it. Lars, hold my shit. God damn it. <laughs> I have no room because there's a leaf in my pouch. Surely if I eat this leaf, I will have room for a new weapon. No, not the antidote herb, the copper sword. I went one too far. Copper sword, there. Sure. No, I'm good right now. You've never seen Roan, Doc? Jesus. Lucky you. <laughs> Was Bart versus the Space Mutants the one with the skateboarding through the mall level? Yes. Yes, it absolutely was. I know that because Bart versus the Space Mutants was the only NES Simpsons game that I owned. <laughs> I don't remember it in Bart versus the... It was Bart versus the world. Tesla's right. Ignore me. Tesla's right. Tesla's right. That was the level that was after um, um, the Great Wall. Oh, hey. Our, uh, our soundtrack is done, so we're going to switch back. Ooh, I'm going to... 
change some volume settings real quick here so I don't blast your ears out. Okay. Prince can use leather shield, right? I want to say he can. This is only weapons. This is not armor. This does not include armor. Armor list. Seriously not on here. God damn it. Shieldless. There it is. There we go. Leather shield. Hero and the prince. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you know, yeah, I know that Canix Sprite has a shield on it, but I don't trust NES games, truth. <laughs> Note that Lars's character sprite is holding a shield, but he hasn't actually been given a shield yet. So, again, not trusting the NES game. Did I not give it to him? Oh, he doesn't have room because of the clothes. God freaking frick frick frick. I challenge all of you to stream beating Silver Surfer for the NES. You're an asshole. Nobody's going to take you up on that, Prince. <laughs> and it's just wrong of you to even ask. That game was a mess. Okay, all right. No, Black Sky, that would make too much sense, and this is an NES game. All right. Battletoads is like Dark Souls. Once you memorize it, it's not that bad. The reason Silver Surfer is hard is because it's poorly made. I completely disagree with you, Tesla. I think Battletoads is not as hard as people make it out to be. I could beat Battletoads as a kid. Not Silver Surfer. Later, Clear Death. Rest well, friend. Have I done a one-credit playthrough of Fatal Fury Special yet? No. <laughs> no. It's it's getting really frustrating. Like, it, it's starting to feel like the more I practice the game, the worse I get at it. That is correct, Blue Black Sky. Battletoads is much harder if you play it multiplayer. It's a much simpler game if you play it single player. I know geese is... Geese isn't the problem anymore. It's getting to geese. Tesla trying to make me feel old. Yeah, I grew up with Battletoads. That does make a difference. Hey boy, another medical herb I'm not going to be using.
Toodle-loodle-loodle-loo. Time for key get very soon. As soon as I'm level 9. Because I'm following the recommended levels on uh, Dragon's Den. Most of my lost time in Dragon Warrior 1 last year was I was trying to do things earlier than I was capable of doing them. So I'm following this. <gasps> Congratulations, Perry! Did you finish the game? Except for the Congratulations on beating Heavy Rain, Perry. No, it's not a matter of who I think it was. I know who it was. And I'm not going to say it here because it's still a recent enough game and some people here really, really need to play it. I know who it was, though. Yes, there are different endings, but the ending doesn't change who the serial killer is. I never played Boy and His Blob Prince. I know they remade it on the Wii. Did you play that one? Was that any good? I'll go, I'll go to the cave now. But first we shall do a quick save state. Deadly Towers, I'm not familiar with that. I actually, I don't think I've even heard of that. Which, congratulations. When did that come out? Ooh, I think I need to go to that bridge up there. I'm in the wrong spot. I need to go up a little. Not bad, huh? Where is this cave? Two big rats appeared. Oh, Faxanadu was so good, except for the ending. I loved Faxanadu until the ending, and then I hated it, because that ending was bullshit. Didn't have Little Nemo. I did have, um, Rescue Rangers, though.
Should you play something lighthearted or just jump into Beyond Two Souls? <laughs> no, it's not a Deus Ex Machina ending, it's just like... It's a non-ending. Seriously, the, you don't even realize that you're fighting the final boss, like it's just another boss, and then suddenly the king shows up when you defeat him, he's like, Thank you for saving my kingdom! And then the credits roll, and that was it. I was so angry. I don't think we even have any room in here. Oh, it doesn't just go back into the box? God damn it. Oh, actually, Perry, are you there? Can you hear me? Can I ask you a favor? Can I have some tea? If you can hear me? I wanted to go back in the box. Worst ending ever, Star Tropics 2. I never finished Star Tropics 2. The first one was really goddamn good, though. What kind? Um, something English. A dark tea. Earl Grey with a splash of milk and a spoon of sugar. If we have Earl Grey. You know what, we're going to use some of Lars's medical herbs, because he's got more of them. <laughs> wow, Prince, that is a terrible ending. So much easier to keep track of where you are in Dragon Warrior 2 than in Dragon Warrior 1. Ah, or we can get jumped. And Kanek is poisoned. Okay, Kanek death avoided. Yeah, Mike goes into space near the end of, uh... What are you talking about? Mike goes into space in the first Star Tropics. Did they even make a third one? What are you talking about? I'm so confused right now. Thank you. 
Heal her down. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. <clears throat> yeah, we even got Star Tropics 2 here in the US, Peter. Another medical herb. How? Oh, God, why? Let's throw it back at him, Lars. When is my LP of Grandia 2? I don't know, behind a bunch of other stuff? It'll happen. I'll probably do the entire Grandia series eventually. Eventually. Actually, yeah, we have enough medical herbs. And Chrysalis eventually. <laughs> I have such a backlog. <laughs> and Valkyrie Profile. And the Xeno games. Antidote Herb. Have I played Terranigma? No, I haven't played any of that trilogy. Actraiser, Terranigma, and the other one. Centipod. Wow, he has so much defense. You know what, Lars? This is why you're here. Soul Blazer, that's what it was. Thank you. Thank you, Sandwich Ghost. Yeah, those all three of those are on my list as well. Wing of the Wyvern. And gold. I did not know that Legacy of the Wizard and Faxanadu are part of the same series. I knew that there were other Faxanadu games. Nice crit, Lars. Thank you. 
I think this is our key. Yeah, Lars wants to make the uh, counter rather boring, I think. It's alright, we have time. We have plenty of time for Lars to die. Yeah, the Aleph Guard region is pretty tough, Treats. There's like a lot of high attack power shit there. It's just, you know, nobody really talks about the Aleph Guard region being tough because by the time you see Roan, you're like, wow, nothing is ever awful ever again except for Roan. You brought me tea. You do love me. Thank you, baby. I put the tea bag back in there because it tasted like milk and sugar. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Love you too. Are you you now? Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I did mention to her earlier that uh, I was going to have the camera on. So, like, <laughs> she figured out where she could stand without appearing on camera before the stream even started. Why am I pressing the wrong button? Holy crap, that tea is hot. Christ. This is not Earl Grey. <gasps> I've been lied to. This is black tea. This is breakfast tea. <laughs> Lars. Lars, hang in there, Lars. We'll get through this, Lars. Okay. <laughs> I said I want something English, and then you read off Earl Grey, and I said Earl Grey. It's okay, baby. Later, Peter! It's fine, baby. I don't mind English breakfast. I was just like, I was expecting Earl Grey when I put it in my mouth, and I was surprised. It's okay. I still love you. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Lars survives. Eat it, haters! <laughs> A 
phrase. <laughs> Thank you. We almost missed that one. <laughs> Although he is poisoned again. So we'll see how that turns out. How's the water? Oh, my water's fine. Thank you. Yay, a lottery ticket. We're free! I should have brought a uh, wyvern's wing. I don't remember what the lottery prizes are in this. I didn't really enjoy doing the lottery that much. I got my key, right? Silver key, fantastic. It's uh, in Hamlin, I think, that we could... Oh, excuse me. Hamlin, we can turn it in. Oh, the wizard's rings are what we really want. Wizard rings are so good. What's the gold card for? Do you just sell that? Yeah, I'm playing on an emulator. I didn't want to risk um, my NES freezing up or anything. I need to change the connect the pins in it. Nice. So better than gold. I'll do Fantasy Star. Not now. <laughs> I'm not going to use save states on the lottery. That's that's a little bit too much. Because I can count this as a, uh... A thing. I can count it as a timed record run. Since, uh, uh Twin Galaxies is back. Okay. 
Doc, you will get a Fantasy Star Marathon. Actually, I'm probably more likely to... Dragon Warrior 3 is way too long. I can probably handle doing Fantasy Star 1. Alright, how much money do we have? 791 gold. Who can wear the chainmail? Actually, where's the walkthrough? There, open that up. Chainmail, both of them can. Although, Hamlin's coming up. We could buy full plate armor. Oh, I want to keep up on the gear. So nobody gets uh, hit too hard. I know that's not standard, but whatever. Dragon Warrior 3's ending was fine. What are you talking about? Ah, chainmail. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. Seriously, Prince? How? Dragon Warrior 3 is pretty well agreed upon as being one of the best in the series. How could you think that that one made you leave the series? How? Why? You sat through a tedious RPG to find out that you're already dead. Because it's a prequel, man. You got the happy ending. You saved an entire world from darkness. And your legacy protects that world from further darkness. It was a fantastic ending. Uh, Lars. That's the thing. It's a surprise prequel. You find out at the end, like, oh shit, I'm Erdrick. This is a prequel. It was amazing. I need to sell that. No, I need to sell things. I'm paying too much attention to stream chat again. Oh my god, my belt. Ugh. I am facing the wrong direction. I don't have enough. I can sell what I'm wearing now. character. What's up, helpful hero? Ooh. 
really wish he would ask me if I wanted to equip it. I'm totally going to forget again. Alright. We got our chain sickles. We've got our shields. We're good to go. Saving. All right, south. Not quite here, though. There's a world map. World map. There's left wind. This map might be too big. No, no, that might be okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. Ah. Hast thee travels taken thee to the monolith south of Maidenhall? No. My brother must be there now. Will thou not go to him? I mean, I'll get to it. <clears throat> Please go through. No you. Search? Or button. Do I have to use the key on it? Apparently not that door. Uh, I don't remember which way to go. Peace, Django. That's right, the left way goes to that other cave. Or the, uh, the other exit. I think we're gonna be fighting apes soon. This is Hamlin. So much hate! So much hate!
You have a question, Tesla? Ask your question. What? What game? Are you talking about Grandia? I don't know off the top of my head. It sounds familiar, but I don't even know what game you're talking about. <laughs> okay, Grandia 1. The one I am least familiar with. Well, aside from Grandia Extreme, I guess I didn't play Grandia Extreme at all. I only played Grandia 1 a few hours. I beat the crap out of Grandia 2. And I put like maybe 12 to 15 hours into Grandia 3. One smoke appeared. Yeah! Eat that crit. Alright. We're gonna take a quick break. Not as long as the last one, I promise. Because I'm not gonna go eat anything this time. I just wanna go stretch my legs. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with you shortly. Peace out. Here's some music.